Hey, what's up guys? Jake here and I'm back from the Sword and Shield pre-release event at my local game store. About two weeks before Pokemon releases, uh, most card stores host pre-release event where you can go open up some packs and play with the latest cards. It was a lot of fun. The turnout was insane. The energy was so positive. I entered a 16 participant Pokemon tournament and surprise, surprise, your boy Jake here got first place. To enter the tournament, it costs $30. You get yourself a build and battle uh, box deck. Comes with four packs and uh, some cards that you can play around with, make your own draft deck. As the first place prize, I got myself nine booster packs from Sword and Shield. So let's go cracking them open and I'll show you guys the deck that I ran. To win the pre-release event, you could run the decks that they give you, but to really rock it and nail it right out of the park, you really have to get some V Max cards or just some regular V cards if you really want to win. So some of those hyper rare cards really help. I ran the Galarian Zigzagoon into the Galarian Obstagoon um, uh, Evo line and that was really powerful. Zigzagoon does 10 damage when it goes onto the field. Soda Udo, didn't get a chance to play with it. This was one of the cards that I opened up from my pack. One energy, draw two cards, really useful. And there's the main event, Reggie Rock V. Yes, I pulled this card from one of my booster packs. And boy, this card really rocked the event. Like, no pun intended, but for three energy, 190 damage was great. This card would just knock out so many of my opponent's Pokemon. And at 220 HP, it was, it was really difficult for them to deal with. And there's, of course, Galarian Obstagoon. If I couldn't pull out my Regirock, Galarian Obstagoon was the, the next boy up in line. As soon as Galarian Obstagoon gets on the field, it does 30 damage. And uh, for two energy, it does 90 damage per hit, which was very useful. Galarian Zigzagoon again, Air Balloon, a little bit more useful. Uh, makes the retreat cost of most of my Pokemons down to zero. So pretty useful for switching out. I ran a lot of trainers. You really have to have a lot of trainers. Your deck were only 40 cards and at least about a third of my deck was trainer because the trainers were just so useful. Really made it easy. Uh, potions, just some extra stuff. Evolution Incense to help pull out Galarian Obstagoon. Lucky Egg never really triggered for me. Mincino, and of course, the Cincino uh, Evo. This was the promo card that comes inside of my build and battle box. Pretty cool. I really love the new holographic patterns for these cards. Really nice patterns. Looks really wonderful. I love the Sword and Shield logo on it as well. Hop. Hop is pretty much the new version of how you play it. You draw three cards. Every single expansion seems to have that card. Pokegear 3.0, an easy $1 value card at the very least. Very good to pull that from my pack. Got Lauren my noon. Professor's Research, probably pretty useful as well. Ooh, Cramorant V, that's right boys. I pulled a second V card in my booster packs. Cramorant V though was not very good. Uh, didn't really come in handy too often, but it was nice to have it in the deck. For one energy, I could search my deck for two cards. And for three energies, I could do 160 damage to any Pokemon. That's pretty interesting as well. But it was only useful for a little bit, but it was a really funny card to see play. So that was kind of the deck that I ran. And on to the main event, of course, for my prize. Being in first place, I got uh, nine Sword and Shield booster packs. Yeah, my goodness, that is so nice, you know. The event only cost uh, 30 bucks, so I came out really well ahead. And these are all brand new cards that I haven't had a chance to pull ever before, so it's nice to start my collection a week or two early. And of course, we got some brand new energy cards. The designs are pretty sleek, the sword and shield design. I really actually like that. Uh, on to, oh, there we go, Soto Wudo. Hop, another hop. Dotler, Shelder, Croagunk, Silicobra, Mincino, Vulpix, Lantern as our holographic reverse. Of course, in Sword and Shield, we get a brand new holographic reverse pattern. 
This holographic person is pretty sweet as well. I like the last one in uh, Sun and Moon, but not bad. Sword and Shield. Nice holographic pattern. Pretty unique. Dig the design. And in the back, we got ourselves Crap Lock as our rare. On to our next pack, we got ourselves the Snorlax V Max card right there. Ooh, that's a beauty. The two big boys in this one would probably be the Snorlax V Max and the Lapras V Max. And of course, if you can get yourself the gold uh, hyper rare um, Zama Zenta and Zacian V cards, those would be really nice as well. One, two, three to the front. Let's toss the energy, the brand new fighting energy. And on to our pack, we got ourselves Soto Wudo again. Eldegoss, Energy Search, Goldeen. Ooh, man, whoa, check out that Goldeen art. Man, that is really cool. Very nice artwork, I really like that. Roselia, Ghastly, Ponyard, the Zaliza Bead, Diglett as our holographic reverse and a little peek on the back. Ooh, yes, boy, that, that is a V card border. I haven't opened so many of these packs yet, but oh, that's a nice border to see. And we got ourselves, oh my goodness, a second Cramorant V. Whoa, already I'm starting to see some dupes. What are the odds of that? But <laughs> I'm not going to complain. I love Cramorant. It's such a funny Pokemon. Uh, spitting out uh, your opponent. It's really goofy. I think it's gonna be a lot of people's favorites going forward. So I'm down to see a second one of those. On to our next pack. One, two, three to the front. Toss the energy. Some of you guys are gonna have to come back for those codes because I don't think those uh, Pokemon card codes work yet. Uh, we got ourselves Heat Mort, Dr Drizzile, Ordinary Rod, Silicobra, Yamper, what a cutie, Grookey. Kufant, Ball Toy, Nick Kit as our holographic reverse. There's the dark energy pattern. Ooh, very nice. And in the back, we got ourselves Lantern as our rare. I haven't had a chance to look through all the cards inside of the Sword and Shield set yet, but it looks to be a really nice set. Lots of pretty interesting cards, but I can tell that they left out a lot of, you know, like their heavy hitters for later expansions. Like, where's Charizard, right? That card would be insane to be in Sword and Shield base. But I guess that makes sense. Sword and Shield base is also 202 uh, cards in the set, not including the secret. So it's a pretty decent sized set. Not as big as Cosmic Eclipse, but Cosmic Eclipse was gargantuan as a set. We got Salazzle, but Sharp, Pokemon Catcher. Hey, that's a really good card. Mawile, uh, Glossbeer. Goldeen, oh, a second Goldeen in the set. That's pretty cool. We got ourselves Diglett, Scroopy, Mincino as our holographic reverse, and in the back, oh my goodness, another V card. Yes, boys. Let's keep the train going. What could it be? Snorlax V. Ooh, yeah. You're going to need a Snorlax V if you want to play your Snorlax V Max. Nothing too crazy, I don't think. Let's see. Uh, three energy does 60 and heals and for four energy you do 170 and Snorlax is now asleep so pretty decent card nothing really insane in that one but it is a normal type so it can be useful in any deck we'll see how well the V cards and the V max card really shake up competitive uh, my current opinion is that they're not going to shake it up too much I'll tell you the reason why is that I think that Tag Team GX cards are just so powerful. Like, the V cards and the V Max cards, after looking at them, I'm thinking, man, I would still play Tag Team GX cards because they're just way better. And of course, you got that GX token to back it up, so why not play it? Got yourself Pokemon Catcher, Drizzile, Evolution Incense, uh, Clopus, Ghastly, Rookity, Salisipede, Nom, Stomp, Holographic Reverse, and is that, is that another V card? What is happening? Ooh, that is a blue border, I think. We got ourselves Lapras V. Whoa! My luck, ah, oh, my luck is out of this world right now. I really appreciate it. The V cards design are really cool. Like, check that out. 
It's such a unique art style and pattern. These V cars, they really knocked it out of the park in terms of differentiating themselves from the EX cards and the GX cards. They look nothing like EX and GX cards though. If they wanted to do a different style of cards, they did it. These cards are totally different. Very cool. Snorlax V, Reggie Rock V, Lapras V, Cramorant V, so much V ing in here. I'm loving it. Yes. I think we've already like, you know, like made the luck. Like if all of these other packs are junk, it's what we deserve, honestly, after pulling so many great cards. But I want the train to keep going. We got a lot more packs to go, so let's see if we can get some better cards. We got Rhydon, Eldegoss, Air Balloon, Glossbuter, Silicobra, Yamper, Krabby, Cufant, Cufant, Scorfin, Score Bunny, Holographic Reverse. Nice holographic fire per pattern. This is my first fire holographic reverse in the set, so oof. That's a nice one to keep. And in the back, we got ourselves Duval, Duval as our rare. I think a lot of the pronunciations for these new Pokemons are going to be up in the air for a little while as people decide on what, uh, what to really call them. Haven't gotten a holographic rare yet in this set besides from the Cincino, but I'm not sure if that pattern is normal. I think it'd be really cool if it is. Whoa, Aurora Energy. That's a really cool card. You can attach this card to one of your Pokemon only if you discard a card from your hand, as long as it provides any, every type of energy. So it's like a rainbow energy card. That's pretty interesting. Ferrothorn, Crushing Hammer, it's back. Uh, Clobopus, uh, Ghastly, Rookity, Elizabeth. Nom and Raboot as our holographic reverse and in the back we got ourselves Noctowl as our rare. On to our next pack we got Snorlax on the front cover again. I know that there are some really cool full art cards in this set as well so hoping to see at least one of those before we finish today's opening. I just love opening these packs for you guys, especially considering how exclusive these are. These packs are not for sale yet. You cannot find Sword and Shield on the shelves. So it's pretty cool to be opening up some cards beforehand. In this pack, we got Quick Ball, Mantine, Dotler, Galarian Meow, Zelizapede, Wooloo, Grookey, Sobble, Energy Retrieval Holographic Reverse, little peek on the back. So this will be our first holographic rare card. And it is Cinder Ace Holographic Rare. Ooh, yeah, I really dig that new patterns. If you look at it closely, it looks like there's some texture to it. My guess is this is their way of combating uh, the cars curving. And I think this might actually work. So I'm gonna leave Cinderace out unsleeved for like a day and just see how how it how it does in the open because I don't think this card is gonna curve too much. This is a great idea to keep the cards from really bending. So I really dig it. Glad to see Cinderace holographic rare. Even the holographic rare card looks really cool to me. Glad to have it. And on to our last pack with Lapras V Max there on the front. It's got like a solid ship on its back. Let's see if we can get something really cool in this final pack. But if we don't, I don't mind. We've already like done way better than we should, I think. So we do one, two, three to the front, toss the energy. And we got ourselves energy switch. Dotler. Galarian Stunt Fisk. Blip Bug. Rhyhorn. Mincino. Chin Chow. Crow Gunk, Quick Ball, Holographic Reverse. That's a cool Holographic Reverse pattern as well. And in the back, we got ourselves Marsharna as our rare. Alrighty, buddy, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I just noticed this, but this Lapras V is very different from the Snorlax V. Like the texture is completely different. The Lapras has like much more texture compared to the Snorlax V, which is just an artwork. So my guess is and I'm not positive on this yet, but I'm pretty confident on it. This Lapras V is probably a full art version of the card. And this Norlax V is a regular version. So we actually got the full art version of the Lapras V. 
very cool glad to have it are you guys excited for sword and shield because i know i am i got so many booster packs uh pre-purchase ready oh my goodness we got so many booster boxes blister packs elite trainer boxes we're going to be opening up uh, sword and shield for quite a while i'm going to really try to collect all the cards in this set and open up as many of the hyper rare cards as i can get my hands on Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave up all these amazing cards and I will see you all next time.